Today's ink is an interesting one. The line is called Fumisome, which is made by Tag Stationery in Kyoto. The box has an unusual way to open it. It's a small, visually pleasing glass bottle with considerable heft on the bottom. It has a metal cap, which I really like. The Fumisome line is made of natural ingredients like lichen and leaves. For this particular color, chlorophyll, it's made of mulberry leaves, the leaves that silkworms eat. It's also made, and I've confirmed with the maker, of silkworm poop. Let's see how it performs. I was surprised how much I really enjoyed this ink. It's kind of an olive green, but I kept thinking fresh when I was using it. The bottle is kind of small, but unless you're like me and throw around a lot of ink, that probably doesn't bother most people since they have more ink than they could possibly use in a lifetime. It's a flat green olive color, which I thought would make it kind of uninteresting, but I felt like I was writing with leaf dye. And it was also a nice change from all the sheening, sparkling, and shimmering inks. It behaved well on both Tomoa River and Graffilo paper. It was a little dry in a fine nib. It worked fine in a medium and really shined in a 1.1 in flex. It was like writing with watercolor. It took a little over 10 seconds to dry. And remember, I'm using Tomoa River and Graffilo paper, which takes a little longer. It's not very water resistant. On the right, I let the water set. And on the left, you can see I blotted it up right away. And you can still read just a little bit. The chromatography was what you would expect. It was a straight olive leaf green color, though it seemed to be brighter and more saturated in the paper towels I used to clean up. When I dripped it on Tomoa River, it dried with almost a plastic sheen or a plastic film on it. It was kind of interesting. So for me, a nice combination would be using the ink in, of course, a demonstrator with either a broad nib or like a 1.1 stub. So you can take advantage of almost watercolor-like shading. It makes a nice combination with other green accessories. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or any kind of feedback in the comments. Subscribe if you're interested in fountain pen videos or offbeat videos about Asia. I post every Friday night, Tokyo time.